We are discussing how important crate training can be for your dog. Some people are against it. They're like, I don't want to put my dog in a crate. But here to help sort everything out, our pet rescue expert, Larissa, senior producer, Dana Levitt, Dana Levitt and our animal behaviorist, Kyle Kittleson. Welcome, Welcome everybody. You Thank you. You. Oh. you may remember a couple months ago, I want to say now, Buddy was on the show as one of our adoptable dogs. Yeah. And Dana, the lucky one over here, said he is mine, yep. fell in love within two seconds, and she has Buddy now, who is sure now Buddy do. White, by the way. Like Buddy, Buddy White's has, relative. He has a challenge yeah. sometimes. He's challenged, Dana? <laughs> he has some challenges, uh, mainly the crate. So, you know, I really want him to be able to go into the crate easily. Um, you know, for when I leave the house or at night to go to sleep, and it's been a struggle. Are they really be... the dog's challenges? Or are they yours, Dan? Or are they, um, I both. ask right. Kyle. Yeah, Mar Mark and I have been working on the weekends. I've been uh. teaching about dog training. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that is yeah. the correct uh, question, yeah. So what a lot of people do, and Dana didn't do this, so it's easier for her, but when they bring a dog, they go, I'm not going to crate train, and then months, down go, uh, months go by, and they start having problems with their dog, like potty training problems, yeah. or the dog starts tearing up stuff. So they yeah. Like this. So then they bring in a crate and they put their dog in a crate and they use their crate as a punisher. Right. Who and wants we to don't, do that? We don't want to do that. We, don't we want, want the crate to be <laughs> the best place for your dog. And so uh, that's why it's important to start day one. Like so day, and you want to make it cozy like a... Like a cool TP like that kids go into, yeah. Like, like a yeah, yeah. put some candles a in there, cake. right? Yeah. Yeah. So make it fun for them. Now, how do you make? How, like, how do you get a dog to go in if you don't? Have, if they don't like, want to go. go. They don't want to go. Um, Mark, what is? Uh, what's your least favorite room in your house? I have teenage boys. <laughs> <laughs> so, their room. Yeah, either of their rooms. Okay, so their room. But if, um, okay, so if I. Uh, every time you walked into their room, right? Like this just happened. Just. We throw money Look at, at the attention I have on Mark. Wow. Well, I okay. I'm he going was not even paying room attention room. to me earlier. But now, <laughs> right? Here, this is Get just for crate, your extra work. Okay. Yeah. They're all ones. <laughs> Animal trainers make a lot of money. <laughs> it's a money. Um, but uh, five bucks. if every time you walk into your kid's room, you got money showered on you, you yeah. would probably be like, yeah, I probably should go check on my kids a little more, right? Sure. So we want to do the same thing. Now, Muddy, uh, Buddy does not respond to money the way you guys do. You're right. But right. he does respond uh, to food, and a lot of dogs respond to food. So when you start working with your dog to get them to go in a crate, take their breakfast or their dinner or whatever it is that you uh, feed your dog and just get their attention. I'll take the leash from you, Dana. Hey, buddy, look, there you go. Ooh, and okay. then right before they go in crate, good job. You're just going to stay, say that name and then you're going to go ahead and feed them. You're going to say crate. Yeah, say okay. crate. Or you can say bed. You can say shakalaka. It doesn't matter. Say whatever you want to say. But <laughs> just say the same crate. word. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then they start to associate this place with a lot of great things happening. Oh, okay. And I really want you guys to pay attention. I didn't force them in there. No. I didn't no. pick them up. I didn't shove them in there. I didn't drag them in there. I just brought them over here. Let's see if we can get okay. one more crate. What? Good job. And so he's voluntarily going into his room. But sure. how big should this crate be? Because I always feel it's so tiny. Yeah. I mean, they're so cramped if in Debbie there. wants a double-decker one. Yeah, like right. Little, it should be really With a sun <laughs> porch. Yeah. And a sauna. Well, first, the crate is nothing that we normally have for the dog's entire life. All right? This is a temporary solution while we get the dog potty trained, while we get them comfortable in their new home. But you want a crate that's large enough for them to stand up in, do a little circle in, and lay down. And remember... If you just left your dog in your house and put a video camera up, you're not going to see your dog going, wow, look at all of this amazing space I have. They're going to walk around and go, yeah, mom and dad are gone. I'm going to go take a nap. Okay, so they don't use a lot of space when you're not around. So remember that. So they'll That's just sit true. like on the sofa like Fred does. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. Or like I hangs do. hangs out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. Hours. Yeah. exactly. And my, my last tip, and it's really important. When you put your dog in your crate, obviously I'm training buddy right now on a leash. Make sure no collar. We don't want that collar to get stuck anywhere. Sure. It can be dangerous, and so you'll just have. But eventually, you just take the the bed out then, and the crate goes away. Is that the next transition? Yeah, you can absolutely do that, or you can just leave the crate because again, your dog loves it. My, My dog does life. not use a crate, but every now and then I get it out because we have to transport her somewhere, and she yeah. sees it and goes crazy. She's like, "There's my home. I miss and it." And you know what? Sure. Truthfully, let's think about it, guys. If you have outdoor dogs, they have dog houses that aren't much bigger than this, right? And, they, and my dog used to love to be in her dog house. Can I say one quick thing as well about what you're seeing right here? Uh, Kyle leaves the door open to start so that the dog doesn't see it as a trap. 
Right. It, yes. It's something he sure. can voluntarily go in and out of, which yes. is very important. Dana, Wonderful. how's it going? It's a million times better. It's still a bit of a work in progress, but sure. I shot some video yesterday, and he went right into the crowd. He went right in? Good. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Wow. Good. Yay. Look at, so you know, look at that. Good job, Dana. Thank you. <laughs> and, and I was further away. The yeah. more that we work on it, the further away I can get. So he just knows. He just Great. Goes in. And he knows to go in. Right. Well, hopefully so, we'll be able to train you. to Do, do you have yeah. a dollar so yeah, far? Do you have Let's see if we, we can. can, <laughs> I, can <laughs> I may need a little bit bigger one, maybe. Okay. Perfect. Well, leave it open at first, Okay, because you, you know how I feel about want. closed spaces. Okay, we'll have work you into closing. Fantastic. You guys stick around. Ken's up next. Thank you, guys. Good job. Coming up, we've got a witch's broom. It's a Nimbus 2000 wannabe.